For number 8, we are going to multiply screw of 6 times screw of 12. And when we are trying to multiply screw of numbers, in fact, we can just work out the numbers inside first. However, that's not true when we are trying to add or subtract screw of numbers. It only works when we are trying to multiply or divide screw numbers. In this case, we can just look at the 6 and the 12, and we multiply them together first, and we will get 72. And then we maintain the square root. And now we just have to focus on how to simplify the square root of 72. Unfortunately, 72 is not a perfect square, so we don't know the answer right away. But to simplify this, we must know the perfect squares. And to begin with the list, I will start with square root 1, and that will give us 1. Even though we are not going to use 1, but then this is just a good start. The next number is square root of 4, that will give us 2, because 2 times 2 will give us 4. And the next one is square root of 9, that will give us 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. And then the next one, square root of 16, that will give us 4, and then square root of 25, that's 5, and the next one is square root of 36, and that will give us 6, and so on. And to simplify screw of 72, first we are not going to use 1. And then we have to think about which of these numbers will go into the number 72. And use the bigger number whenever possible. Even though we know 9 goes into 72 8 times, right? Because 8 times 9 is 72. However, we know that 36 will go into 72 twice. This is the bigger perfect square that will go into 72. We are going to break down 72 by using screw of 36. So to do that, screw of 72, this is going to be, let's put on the perfect square first, which is the square of 36. And then, because 36 times 2 will be 72, right? So we just maintain the square of 36 times square root of 2. These two together will produce the square root of 72. And the reason that we want to keep the perfect square in the front is because we actually know what the answer is, right? Screw of 36 is 6, so we know that this is going to be a regular 6. Notice that there's no more square root, it's just a regular 6. And then we maintain the square root of 2 right next to it. That's it. 6 times square root of 2, and that's answer choice C.